So sometimes you gotta love Reddit, especially when they find a way to make FreeSync functional on GeForce graphics cards. So let's see just how convoluted this is and whether or not it works. Now, if you want the full rundown and the steps on how to do this, you're gonna have to hit the link down in the description because the guys over at Reddit figured it out and quite honestly, they deserve the credit on this one. So go check out their proof that they have it working. In this video, we're gonna look over the setup process a bit and see how well it works and try to see if we can measure performance impact of doing so provided it works or not. So the requirements are a bit weird. Needing a Ryzen APU, not sure if it'll work with a dedicated GPU or not, but as a brief overview of what we're gonna be doing, we're going to show you evidence of FreeSync working with our Nixius View 24 with our RX Vega 56. Then show it working on the Ryzen 5 2400G. Then show it not working with the GTX 1070. And then hopefully, if everything goes well, show it fun fully functional with the GTX 1070. And just a heads up on why the Nixius View 24? Well, that monitor has a greatly useful OSD prompt that will show you the exact refresh rate so that you can see whether or not it's actually variable or it's static. So let's get going. As soon as I swap out this Ryzen 7 for the Ryzen 5. All right, guys, so here is uh, the, the desk, basically. A uh, good portion of this video is gonna be done from this perspective on handheld. So what we've got here is we got the View 24A, and we've got, this is the 4K panel that I use for testing, and I'm gonna wave, hey, I hate that it's glass, but this is, here's the test bench. All right, so we've got the Vega 56 screaming away here, and this is the 1700, and this is the display port cable running to the Nixius panel. So what I want to show you here is pushing the down button will bring up this and it will show a variable refresh rate. So this is FreeSync is enabled. So we see it working on the Vega 56. So let's shut it down and get it running on just the APU. All right, so here we are with just the Ryzen 5 2400G. It's actually running at stock. This isn't about the performance of the APU, but we do have the memory run in there. So see no graphics card and the Display port cable is running to the View 24. Let me hit that button and show you guys right there. And see there, it is a variable. So variable refresh rate is working on the APU. All right, on to the next part of this, the 1070. All right, so here we are now with the, the 1070 installed. And uh, see here the power or the, the, the display port going back over to the view 24a uh, we're gonna hit the button here to pull up the overlay and boom you can see here 144 and obviously the frame rate is fluctuating but again 144 so definitely uh, static frame rate or static refresh rate so let's see if we can do the little trick to make it well variable all right, so here we are with the 1070, and you can see we got a display port into the motherboard and a display port into the card. So the deal here is uh, the this monitor is hooked up to the 1070, and the motherboard is plugged into the View 24A. But I want to bring it in here and show you guys this uh, the 2400G. You can see the GeForce the 1070 is at well very low utilization, but it's being used. And uh, well, here is valley running and let's hit the little button here to bring up the on-screen display and you can see there it is it's in fact variable you can see it's uh, bouncing around up there and here but what we're going to do now is i'm going to take uh, some performance metrics from i don't know I'll, I'll, you'll, well you'll find out in just a second of a game to see how much of an impact if it impacts it on performance because uh here it does there is quite a bit of impact in unigen Valley, but this was really just using it for demonstration purposes. Um, I'll run a couple benchmarks in a game and we'll talk about that in just a second. Well, guys, there we have it. It does, in fact, work. It's completely crazy, I know. But what about performance impact of running the display through a different source than the one that's generating it? So we took a look at that too. First off, with Batman Arkham Knight at 1080p, using the highest settings, without the GameWorks features enabled, and, well, 
the disparity was minimal. There was a measurable difference in the average frame rates, but no latency was perceived when playing the game. It's definitely very intriguing. We also tested it with Deus Ex Mankind Divided and encountered an oddity here where VSync had to be enabled for the variable refresh rate to engage. So we tested both scenarios with triple buffering enabled. I know, believe me, that sounds dumb to have VSync on when testing it, but with FreeSync functioning, it doesn't step down frame rates like it does without variable refresh rate enabled. We also tried several other games only to find it functioned great, and again with no perceivable latency, even in Battlefield 1. So long and short, yeah, FreeSync does work on a GeForce card. Kinda. But with a quite, quite a bit of tomfoolery. So definitely gives major kudos over to the Reddit user who posted the steps to make this possible. Now let us know in the comments section what you think of this development. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed so we don't miss you in the next one.